In Colorado and Washington State, voters have stirred the pot. You cannot be arrested for being in possession of an ounce of marijuana. I just can't wait to go to 7-Eleven and buy a pack of joints. What's not clear is exactly when or how that will happen. Oh, legalized marijuana. I could, I could pass a joint to a friend of mine. No, you can't. Uh, I could grow it. No, you can't. Um, I could transport it. No, you can't. It could take a year or more to develop regulations. And until then, in Colorado and Washington, there is no legal way to procure pot for recreational use. I don't know if it's supposed to fall from the sky or how people are supposed to get it, but once they have it, and if you're found with, if you're caught by a police officer with under an ounce, you're not going to get prosecuted. But federal authorities have not changed their view. Marijuana is a Schedule One controlled substance, considered more dangerous than cocaine. Everybody's sort of operating on this blank slate of what do we do now? Laurie Levinson is a former federal prosecutor. I don't think the feds, I don't think anybody wants to go into somebody's house and say you can't smoke a joint on your sofa. Governors of both states have already met with federal authorities and it's still unclear if the feds will sue to block the new laws. Colorado Governor John Hickenlooper says he's now prepared to fight. I didn't support the initiative, but you can't argue with the will of the voters. The sentiment was pretty clear. What happens when the smoke clears is still up in the air. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.